In the following genome demonstration, we'll be rotating and swirling mapping coordinates. We have a mesh, a plane with 500 by 500 segments, and it has a material with a checker map on the stack. We'll enable one genome modifier, which was wired to rotate uh, the UV coordinates of a mesh about the center of the geometry object. We are just using an angle in order to rotate each uh, vertex, the mapping vertex, about the center. We can push this a little bit further by measuring the distance of each vertex to the center of the plane and applying a different amount based on exponent argument. We'll enable the swirl effect and this will use the exponent to rotate more and more the farther the vertices are from the center. If we use an exponent of 0, no rotation is applied. Exponent of 2 gives us a swirling texture and higher values about 3.5 produces not only the central swirl but also some additional effects on the side which are interference patterns from the low resolution of the geometry. If we increase the number of vertices on the plane we're going to get less of these effects. As you can see there are still some of them left but in general much less. If we reduce the resolution of the geometry we'll get more interference patterns so we can decide to use a specific amount that produces the look that we like. Let's tweak the exponent a little bit more. Another parameter that we can change is the scale, which also controls how the effect is applied relative to the center. So we can create smaller or larger swirls on the plane. 